Our steps are directed by God. We've been talking about the last few days about our steps. And today is Friday, May the 31st. It's Ken Latcham down in the great state of North Carolina, Raleigh, North Carolina. It's his birthday, as well as here in Danville, Mr. Caleb Mitchell. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I believe Caleb probably turned about 18 this time. So happy birthday to you, Brother Caleb. Our steps are directed by God. We start out the week talking about our steps are watched, they're numbered, and they're blessed. Today we want to talk about they're directed. I'm glad that God has a plan. Proverbs 16, 9 says this, Man's heart deviseth his way, but the Lord directeth his steps. I'm glad we might have a thought that God's got the power. I'm glad in my life many times when I started to go one way, God pushed me another way. And God led me another way. Because God's way is always right and our way is always wrong. We've got to wait patiently on the Lord and let Him direct us. Let Him guide our steps. Let Him lead us to where He would have us to go. Because where He goes, He sustains. Where He goes, He blesses. And where He goes, He empowers. And makes a difference in the lives of others when we follow Him. A man's heart devises his way. See, that's what's wrong today. We devise our way, what we think is right. I can guarantee you if our thought is to the left, God's thought is to the right. Uh, We're we're just opposite of God. We're faulty. We're failures. We're flesh. But God doesn't make mistakes. He doesn't make wrong presumptions. He doesn't make bad plans. Everything God does is perfect. And he says, but the Lord directeth his steps. We can devise, but God's in control. I'm glad that he can override you and me. He can override us when he needs to and get us back to where we need to be. We need to be dependent upon that. We need to be dependent upon the Lord to direct our steps. We need to let him lead because he'll never lead you wrong. He'll always need you where you need to be and show you what you need to do. Don't forget that. Sister Lou in West Virginia, God loves you. And God loves everyone watching today. And may this be your strength for today and your hope.